remember the day and the feeling of that day when you earned your first golden star in the elementary school? Or the day when you get your honor certification at the university? This is the feeling that I have every day when I wake up in Jerusalem. Jewel in the crown. <laughs> Jewel is Jerusalem for me. And I feel lucky that I've been born and live in this city. Different and huge difference between east part of the city and west part of the city. And anyone across between the two parts, he can feel easily that he across between countries. Neglect, lack of service, harsh environment, low quality of living, affecting everywhere in East Jerusalem. And this is the stuff that you can find everywhere in East Jerusalem. Over decades, Muslim, Christians, Jews, Armenians, Kurds, Mormons, from East and West, seculars and Orthodox, lived in harmony in this city. All the colors of the rainbow blended together in this city, shining the color of Jerusalem. Days that I want them to come back to this city. I was born in Mount of Olives, learned abroad as electronic engineering, came back to the city and started working in a telecommunication company, building uh, projects for telecommunications and infrastructures in the Middle East Africa. And one day I decided to start my startup in the city. At that day, I discovered that it is an impossible mission to start up in this city. Even Tom Cruise didn't face that mission. <laughs> I received attractive jobs outside of the city, many options. But I couldn't accept the idea to leave the city and to move. It was hard for me to make this movement and to leave the city. At that time, I decided what should I do to make the life easier here and how we can start the business. One day I was calling one of my old friends and I noticed that I'm making another international call. And why every time I want to call one of my friends, I have to make an international call? Everyone is succeeding, but not here. No one is staying with me here in Jerusalem. That question kept going in my mind, asking what's going on. And yet, Many startups with impressive exits, they succeeded. But any elsewhere, not here in Jerusalem. They are talented, serious projects. At that time, I faced that we have a serious brain drain in East Jerusalem. Moreover, talented women and the highest unemployed woman in this country is in my side of the city, it is in East Jerusalem. Professional women that can't afford going to Ramallah to work in Ramallah, stayed in the city, unemployed, with no options, hopeless, sitting home. They are amazing, with amazing ability, but no one to support them. Then one day, our mayor, announced that we are going to have the marathon in Jerusalem. At that day, I said, how I can run to marathon when half of my body is paralyzed? And is Jerusalem, it is effectively paralyzed. At that day, I decided to gather engineers and to start brainstorming how we can solve the idea. I was expecting something like 20, 25, or 30 to show up. And at that day, 150 engineers, talented, showed up in that meeting. 
We start challenging each other, thinking about the obstacles and how we can solve the obstacles and how we can change the situation and start building businesses in the city. And we asked why the talented are leaving the city, why they are moving to Ramallah or to Amman, Dubai, or going to France, England, the US, or even Canada, and between them even my brother. The outcome of that meeting was many barriers. There were many barriers. The first one was lack of space. There is almost no spaces for those startups to start their business. And if there is space, it is very expensive and unaffordable prices for them. The second barrier was lack of networking. There is no ecosystem, no one to support them, no one to connect them or to guide them. The third one was lack of capacity, capacity building on both soft skills or professional skills. And the fourth one was the complex bureaucracy for startup from the east part of the city to register his business or even to open a bank account for his business. A month later, we gathered again and we decided to create an ecosystem heart that can radiate the power for those engineers to start up their businesses. The solution was JUST, an NGO that can give physical and virtual home for those startups to start their business. In this case, JUST is not a joke, but I was, was ready to be the first jester if that will bring the dream to reality. So we do not have to wait for politicians or governments to make the change. It's only to be willing to bring the change. We rented the space, renovated that space, and we're expecting to open the space in the next few weeks. And we took the first step alone, without the help of anyone and we didn't wait for any others to help us. In the fact, the Palestinian National Authority are not allowed to work in East Jerusalem. At the same time, the Israeli government are not interested to work in East Jerusalem. To bridge this gap and to create an ecosystem, I decided to contact the CSR program of the international companies. The responsibility of those companies to help us and to support us. The first one to contact was Cisco. And I remember when I contacted Cisco, uh, the director of the CSR program told me, honey, we are helping the Palestinian Authority and we paid them $15 million to start and to develop the system there. But they are not allowed to spend any penny in East Jerusalem. And we have many initiatives in Israel, but none of them in East Jerusalem. Because there is a political conflict, and we, as a company, we don't want to be part of that conflict. But at the moment that I contacted him without any political agenda, and only to empower the economical situation in the city, they were the first to come and to support us. Our job started here to build the ecosystem and to develop and to change the life for those startups. Just strive to support them, giving them all the needed services from the co-working space, the accelerating, pre-accelerating, and all the needed services from mentor and coaching just to make their life easier and to achieve the mission and to achieve their dreams. And nowadays, even before the opening, young people are coming to the few chairs that we have there, sitting on their laptops, working on their dreams, even before the grand opening. And I can feel the reverse wind and the changing 
between the community, how they are willing and how they want to make this change. I see Jerusalem as a junction, a main junction. We have this special location. From this location, we can easily connect East Jerusalem to the East, with Jerusalem to the West, and to build the bridges between all parties to start their business here and to take it globally. <clears throat> all is needed, simple. It is the willing, the belief, and the hard work. Thank you. Thank you.